Hello friends, uh, this is for the June cycle 2023 assignment, uh, semester 3 ITM, custom shipping and insurance. Okay, your company imported one consignment on the 1st January 2022. The rate of duty of goods imported is 15%. Your company has kept those goods in the bonded store for, stores for 6 months and went to clear the same in uh, July 2022. At this time, the rate of the duty was increased to 20%. Your company insists on paying 15% duty which was prevailing at time of import and sought your advice on this. Please give the right advice to your company based on the Custom Act 1962. Okay, so you will get it Custom Act in Chapter 1, um, it's number 8. Over here you have a good information about the Customs Act. Now coming back, so this is what uh, at the uh, second you can justify it's like uh, since it was in a bonded warehouse for uh, for six months so when you are actually taking out the components uh, or products um, the tariff what is there at that moment is only going to be applicable so the company has to go and uh, do for a 20% um, whatever the increase has come in the duty they have to pay so something like that you can work out together and get it, get the information okay question two your company has imported one aluminium product from China after checking the rate of duty which has 20%. At the time of clearance, custom has added anti-dumping duty 75% on your product. Your company got confused and asked your opinion whether this is correct. Kindly guide your company on anti-dumping duty. Okay. Um, so general information of tariffs, you can get it in uh, page number 55. So, General Provisions of the Customs Tariff Act 1975, here you have the information. In this, uh, anti-dumping comes 9A, I think. Yeah, 9A is anti-dumping duty. So, here you have information about the 9A, anti-dumping. Then, uh, finally, you have to justify why um, uh, they are asking you 75%. You have to prove that it is not for anti-dumping or... Uh, Assuming that in the situation, the company is not uh, taking any uh, dumping material from China to India. So then um, you can also, ha you have a provision of going for appeal. So you use those uh, information to write your final uh, opinion. Okay. Question three, you have joined a company as an import export manager. The company is new and they seek your advice on the following. What is the first check of import clearance? What is the second check of import clearance? Okay. Um, so in, in question one and two, it is first and second is what asking. So we are going with the same custom clearance procedure for imported goods. Page number 78. So physical examination is what it's going to happen. So here you have like a very uh, information about what is first checks and uh, second checks. Uh, basically, the first check is uh, checking all the documents, everything is correct or not. And the second check is for checking the components, uh, uh, physical component. Um, yeah, so this is the one we have it. Uh, there's a little more information. It's better to get it from the external sources uh, so that you will be able to reach 500 words. Okay, thank you so much.